Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Live at Bird TV. So yesterday was a fantastic result, all right, in the context of what it means for our Champions League campaign. Didn't change anything, but there was a lot of positives to take out of it for sure, and none other than the return of uh, Ibrahima Kanate, who I thought was absolutely outstanding in my man of the match at centre-back. Uh, I thought Darwin Nunes, when he came on, for the last 18 to 20 minutes was outstanding put himself about unlucky with the square pass to Salah which was unbelievably cut out by their defender uh, obviously it was his header for Salah's goal and it was his uh, follow up all good strikers people say that he's not a goal scorer he's a goal scorer that was Robbie Fowler-esque you know Fowler used to always follow him anticipating that the keeper would spill any shot and that's how Robbie Fowler got most of his goals so people keep writing off Darwin Nunes but they're just stupid because I think he's going to be in double figures easily this season and he's already on seven goals now and he's just going to get better and better and better and I think he's a nap to start against Tottenham on Sunday and yeah I'm just going to go through players ratings first so Alison Becker seven i thought he did well in goal i thought i love his distribution even when we were one nil up he was still kicking it long to try and get us a second and third goals which i loved which means that the mentality was still to try and get four goals i noticed at the end even when we went two nil up as well we were still throwing corners in so we were still trying to get four goals even when we only had a minute left which i love that's the mentality we have at liverpool which is which is great to see uh Right back Trent, I thought he had a steady game, I thought defensively it looks really good. Uh, their goal, everybody could say that it was bad defending again, but they were offside, so we held our defensive line really well. People don't see that, but that's good defending. To get your line all along the back in, in context of each other means that they're offside. And it was a, and I, I like, that's the first time I've ever seen the, fr the 3D offside, and it's so clear. Get that in the Premier League. Why is that not being used in the Premier League? Or is it just BT Sport that do the 3D offside? I think it's fantastic. Clearly shows the actual figure of the player, which makes it look a lot more offside and clearer to the fans. The only thing I don't get is why it takes three, four minutes if they've got the 3D option for them straight away. What's the fucking problem? Just say offside or onside. So it is what it is. But the decision went our way and I did say that I was pleased with our German officials and I reckon uh, that was never going to be overturned anyway. But he was offside anyway, I'm only joking. So yeah, Trent did well. Centre-back, Ibrahim Kanate, absolutely ph phenomenal. That's two games now he's came in this season and two games we've won and two games we've had a clean sheet. There's no coincidence and he got injured after the last time he came in. So bloody please, Kanate, stay fit now until the end of the season because we need him if Canate stays fit from now to the end of the season we will finish top four and I'm so confident we will win a trophy this season I'd take another FA Cup I'd take another League Cup just to keep the trophy count coming whilst we rebuild this new look Liverpool side Virgil did well thought he was uh, back to his usual best yesterday uh, very strong loved the way that he was telling people to get up when he was stronger than that's the Virgil we know I'll give him a 7.5 Left back Costas, always get what you see with him, always get that tenacity and effort, good crossing ability, seven. Midfield three, Fabinho was better yesterday, still not back to his best, but he was better, seven. Uh, Milner, seven, uh, we've still got a half of the fan base that are a disgrace towards him, they're always calling him names and he's past it, he's too old, leave the lad alone. He put himself about yesterday, physically, and he it was tenacious in midfield and it, up until the concussion that he got, it was it was it was you know, put him it was just James Milner. That's the best description I can give you. He was just James Milner. Alongside him was who was the third man in midfield? Tiago. Thought Tiago with his passing again was decent. Uh seven. The front three. Mo Salah, I thought he was sharp last night. He looked the business. Eight, he gets an eight from me, he looked like the Salah we loved, that little run he did at the end, the pace, he just could have got there a little bit faster, it would have been one of them 
the most Salah goals we all love, the counter-attack Salah goal. Uh, Bobby Firmino, give him a new contract. He's never been fast, Bobby, so he's one of them players that will still be brilliant in his early 30s to late 30s, I'd say. An impact sub, somebody we could use in the FA Cups and Carabao Cups to bring on the next batch of youngsters. Can you imagine the Ben Dokes and the Ken Doherty, is, Ken, uh, Ken Doherty, the Doherty lad coming through, Ken Doherty and all that, playing in the League Cup games and, and some league games and that with him in the future, just learning off Bobby's movement and his touch and awareness. So if it was me, I would offer Bobby another contract. Uh, even if it's just for two years, you know, for me, take until he's 33. But I'm sure he probably will head off to Barcelona and he'll go with our blessing in the summer, if he does. And the last striker was... Who was the other one who was up front yesterday? Why has it, why it slipped my mind? He must have not played very well. It was Firmino, Salah and... I ever forgot who was up for oh yeah it was, it was Curtis Jones wasn't it Curtis Jones did well left side at left side of the three I was talking to Scott Williams a couple of days ago and we're doing a podcast we're going to do it this Friday and he actually said that that's Curtis Jones's position is it's the left side of the three and he looked good he was getting a bit of stick off some fans which I don't get he was I thought he was that was his best performance since his return from injury uh yesterday uh, so I was really pleased to see Curtis. He's good on both feet. He was he was actually pressing. He was using. He was he was becoming a menace, and he was good on both feet. I quite like the fact that he kept on floating from the left side to the right side and confusing the Napoli defence. And let's not forget, this is a Napoli team that have uh, you know not been beaten in 21 games. So we 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 ended their run. So that was brilliant, and it's psychological because if you think about it now, should we go on in the competition? Hopefully we'll get Bruges over two legs or Porto. That'd be brilliant. Should we go on in the competition? Uh, you know, we're in Napoli's head now, haven't we? That we've, 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 we've beaten them at Anfield 2-0. So, you know, it is what it is. And people say, well, is it a bad thing that we'll be playing the first leg at Anfield rather than the second leg? And I'll actually say no. Because it's weird. If we have the first leg at Anfield and we go all out, Bang, get the job done 3-0, 2-0 even. We can then just sit and play on the counter-attack in the away leg. They've got to come out and attack us, which will be suicide. They come out and attack us, we can hit the counter-attack. And then it can actually fall into our hands. Maybe this season's a season where we'd like to play the first leg at Anfield if we get the job done quickly. So that's what I'd say about that. So I'm looking forward to LBTV will be bringing you the draw live on Monday at 1 o'clock. For the Champions League last 16. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through the comments and then that'll do me and I'm gonna do my Tottenham preview uh later today or tomorrow. Uh probably tomorrow I'll do that, give myself a bit of a break. But let's go through the comments. Good morning, John. Great game, mate. I hope we win the next game, as we all do, mate. Salah was great. So yeah, so I'm really happy today. Uh it's great to see all the social media not doing what normally happens is laughing at Darwin Nunes which is unbelievable why are they laughing at that man he's unplayable he is unplayable when he is on song like he was last night he's quick he's strong he's left foot he's right foot he's phenomenal in the air right we've got a plan B now you know if we are like you know in the last 16 of the, when, when we are in the last 16 of the Champions League and we can Say we're one nil down. It's ten minutes to go. We can go to a plan B we've never had before, which is whip it in the box, and Nunes will be there with his head. And I love that. So I'm really in a good mood, as as always when we win. It's it's great, and also when we're in, you know, when we're getting shit from left left angles and right angles all over the world, and they keep writing us off. I spoke to my friend yesterday, who's a Leeds fan, and he said, "I actually think you're gonna get to the final again. You just." can't write use off in this competition and you can't and it's in Istanbul as well the final so please god it's just fate and do you know what I'd love I got asked the question yesterday we got to the final I'd love Man City in the final and to beat them and to stop them winning the European Cup personally would be absolutely unreal you'll never walk alone